So, um, what we've talked about so far is we've talked about one, our unit vector, and then also if we have something multiplied by a unit vector, just have the same direction. So remember, remember our unit vector u equal our vector v over the magnitude of v, right? This is what a unit vector represented. Now, so if we can find v in our unit vector v, then we're all good. Then the next thing we talked about is remember when we have a unit vector, right? That unit vector is on the unit circle. If we know what the unit vector is, we know what our theta is, right, on our unit vector. All we need to do now, because remember the unit vector has, has a magnitude of what? One. One. So if I just multiply this by a scalar, right, it's going to have the same angle as my unit vector. It's just going to now be multiplied by an angle. And that's what we want to do. We have a magnitude of, um, we have a magnitude of five. But what I have is I just have a vector 3 comma 3. Now is 3 comma 3, is that a unit vector? No, right? So what we need to do, because obviously the magnitude of this is not 1. So what we need to do first is convert this to a unit vector. So what they're asking us to do again is for this problem they're saying Find the vector v with the given magnitude, so we have a given magnitude, and the same direction as u. All right? So before we get to this, we need to be able to write this down as our unit vector so we can find exactly what our angle is going to be. All right? So first thing, we'll have 3 comma 3 all over the magnitude of u. Well, we need to figure out what the magnitude of u is. Remember, the magnitude of u is going to be u1 plus u2 squared. Taylor, can you put that down, please? So u1 is going to be 3 squared plus 3 squared, which equals 9 plus 9, which equals the square root of 18. Then we can simplify that into 3 back to 2. Right? Right. So now we know the magnitude of u, which is now 3 radical 2. So we can write u now as its unit vector of 3 over 3 radical 2 comma, 3 over 3, radical 2. All right, now this is before um, we're getting all uh, crazy here with this. But now I need to, so this is my unit vector, right? Before simplifying, this is my unit vector, correct? correct. This is my unit vector. So if my unit vector, we obviously now are going to have, we're going to be in the same direction as unit vector. Now, all I need to do is multiply by the magnitude of 5. So I'm just going to say 5u is going to equal 5 times 1 over square root of 2, comma, 1 over square root of 2, as those are going to count as your 3s divide up to 1, right? So now, my, mag or my vector v is now just simply going to equal 5 over square root of 2, comma, 5 over square root 2. Wait, why do uh, Questions on that? <coughs> so a vector B has a magnitude of 5. Wait, now it has a magnitude of 5 with a direction. So that, or with the same direction as my angle. Oh, crap. Can the square root stay on the bottom? In your vector format, yeah, I mean, you could simplify it, but no, okay. the, I was looking at the...